Hello everybody, Craig Burnback here, and welcome to another edition of my video blog, Burnback's Always Right. And today I'm going to tell the Tampa Bay Buccaneers why they cannot draft Jameis Winston with the number one overall pick in the upcoming NFL draft because it is just not worth the risk. Now, I've been debating this for a while, but then I realized this decision is simple, and I realized it while watching the end of the Aaron Hernandez trial. Now, I'm not saying that Jameis Winston's going to end up being accused or convicted of a heinous crime like murder. I'm just telling you, we got to learn from the past. And Aaron Hernandez, there were questions about his character when he, were at, when, when he was at Florida, and the Patriots ignored it and drafted him, and look at where we ended up. Jameis Winston, there are plenty of questions about his character. Now, he was never charged, but he was accused of sexual assault. That's a pretty big deal. We do know that he shoplifted. Not a big deal, but a bad decision. We also know while he was under investigation for sexual assault, he stood up in the middle of his student union and yelled a ridiculous obscenity. Once again, not a big deal, but not something that you expect from your leader and not something you expect from the face of your franchise. And if the Bucks draft Jameis Winston with the number one overall pick, that's exactly what he'll be. And in this day and age in the NFL, you can't afford to pick a guy to be your face that you can't trust. Think about the Ray Rice situation, the Adrian Peterson situation, the Hernandez situation. The fans have proven and shown that they no longer are going to just ignore major problems off the field. So the Bucks, for you, it's not worth the risk. Look. It's not like you don't have other choices. There's another quarterback in this draft that's pretty good. You remember the Heisman Trophy winner, Marcus Mariota? Look, anybody who's done my job for a long period of time will tell you, we can't guarantee what these guys are like, no matter how much we interview them and cover them, what they're like off the field. But I will tell you this, I covered Marcus Mariota's entire career at the University of Oregon, and nobody would shock me more if they got in trouble off the field than Mariota. I know that Mariota's not going to shoplift. Mariota's not going to yell an obscenity in a public place. You do enough interviews, if you're the Bucks, you will see this guy's character leading up to where he is right now says it doesn't get any better than that. So if it's close with what you see on film between Mariota and Winston, then it's not close. Take Mariota. Now let's say you love Winston's stuff on the field. You don't love Mariota's. You don't think he is the quarterback of your future. Well, guess what? Then don't take a quarterback. You were 2-14 and 14 last year, Bucks. You stink. You need other things. Your linebackers aren't good. You only have one wide receiver, and your offensive line can't block anybody. Trade down. Get more picks. Take something else. It's not like Jameis Winston or nobody else. It's not like you only have one position to fill, and you're going to be a Super Bowl contender. And look. In this day and age, if you don't take Jameis Winston and he ends up being a great quarterback, it's not like anyone's going to go, well, why didn't they do that? They blew that. People are going to understand that it was too big of a risk. And it's not like you are the New England Patriots who can make a big mistake like drafting Aaron Hernandez, still win a Super Bowl, and no one looks at them like a horrible franchise that made a terrible mistake. You're not the Pittsburgh Steelers who had issues with Ben Roethlisberger off the field, survived that, won a Super Bowl. Your franchise has made a ton of mistakes and for most of your existence has been a laughing stock. If you draft Winston and he messes up in any way, shape, or form, people are just going to say, see, it's the Bucks doing something stupid again. Look, don't take Jameis Winston, Tampa Bay. It's just not worth the risk. And how do I know that? Well, that's simple. That's because Burnback's always right.